If I asked you which technology defined 2023, what would it be? Cast back to 1930 and we witnessed the genesis of the first analog computer at MIT. Fast forward to 1969 and humanity etched its footsteps on the lunar surface. Then came 1983 with the invention of the internet. But 2023 has introduced something even more extraordinary. A technology so revolutionary that it might redefine our future as a species. This year can be defined by the advent of artificial intelligence. The launch of ChatGPT on November 30th, 2022 marked the first real unveiling of AI to the public in a way that they could see, connect with, and truly understand. Whereas before this event, most of the public didn't even have a conception of artificial intelligence. They weren't even aware that such a thing could even exist outside of fiction. And yet within just a year, it has become a staple in the everyday conversation of many to being a buzzword in S&P financial reports. If the year 2023 has taught us anything, it's that we are on the brink of a new industrial revolution. A revolution that is changing the very meaning of productivity and reshaping just about every facet of technology. However, the rapid ascension of AI hasn't been entirely beneficial. As AI has captured global interests, it has also drawn the attention of both the esteemed scientists and underground criminals alike, the latter seeking to harness its power for unethical profit. In this video, I aim to shed some light on some of the more darker aspects of this emergent technology and delve into the most disturbing developments in AI over the past year. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to support the channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. Over the last year, I guarantee you've seen a bunch of these clips floating around the internet. What's up, bro Obama? Hey, Donnie. Ready to catch some hogs? You know it. This was such a great idea. We've been cooped up in our houses for way too long. True that. I'm tired of only communicating with the boys through Discord. Any bites yet? I am not Morgan Freeman. And what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What is your perception of reality? AI has been harnessed rather quickly to do an amazing job at cloning voices. And it's been used to give us some pretty humorous clips such as the one you just saw of the president's fishing. With this technology, we've unlocked a huge reservoir of production for things such as faceless YouTube channels. But we've also opened up Pandora's box and unleashed a terrifying new type of crime. I pick up the phone and I hear my daughter's voice and it says, Mom, and she's sobbing. And I was, what happened? And she's like, Mom, I, I, I messed up and she's sobbing and crying and then I hear a man's voice say put your head back lie down and then I'm like wait what what's going on and this man gets on the phone and he's like listen here I've got your daughter this is how it's gonna go down you call the police you call anybody I'm gonna pop her stomach so full of drugs I'm gonna have my way with her and I'll drop her off in Mexico and at that moment I just start shaking I'm like what and in the background she's going help me mom please help me help me and falling Experts warn of rise in scammers using AI to mimic voices of loved ones in distress. Jennifer DiStefano answered a phone call from an unknown number earlier this year and was horrified to hear what sounded exactly like the panicked voice of her oldest daughter, Brianna, who was begging to be saved from kidnappers. I hear her saying, Mom, these bad men have me. Help me. Help me. Help me. And even just saying it gives me chills. She goes on to say that after this, the scammers asked her for over a million dollars in ransom. In reality, Brianna was safe and sound. Scammers had allegedly used artificial intelligence to mimic Brianna's voice to try and extort money out of her terrified family. The incident is just one example of an alarming trend. One of the largest cybersecurity firms in the country, Checkpoint Technologies, says they've seen a substantial increase in AI-based scams and attacks from just the last year. These types of AI recreations of people are called deepfakes, which we've known about for a while now. But as this technology continues to improve from its already advanced stage, we are going to have to find meaningful ways to differentiate between what is real and what is AI generated. Have you ever heard the phrase, playing God? It's usually used in a negative sense and means to intervene as a human in a process of nature that would otherwise be left to God's design. Well, the development we're about to talk about embodies the meaning of that phrase quite perfectly. The human brain is far and away the most advanced supercomputer that we have in the world today. 
It is postulated that the human brain operates at one exaflop, which is equivalent to a billion billion calculations per second, far more than anything else we've been able to create thus far. Not to mention that when compared to traditional computers, the hardware of the brain is extremely energy efficient. Considering this, a new field of study has opened up in the last couple years, and really taken off in 2023, and that is biological AI chips. Two years ago, a company called Cortical Labs successfully taught some of these biological chips how to actually play Pong, and how to win at it. Our brains are naturally pattern-recognizing machines and work by making sense of the constant stream of information that we receive on a daily basis. These chips work no differently. When training the mini brains how to play Pong, they would give them sequential electrical signals that were easily understood. However, if the Pong ball bounced off the screen, the brains were then stimulated with completely random signals as a form of punishment. Through this process, they were taught to rally the ball and do their best to avoid letting it go off screen. What this showed is that these mini brains could be trained and taught, and it also showed that there may be an application for these energy efficient chips in the world of training AI. In fact, just a couple weeks ago we got this new article from MIT, showing that a team at Indiana University generated a brain organoid from stem cells, attached it to a computer chip, and connected their setup, known as BrainAware, to an AI tool. They found that this hybrid system could process, learn, and remember information, and was even able to carry out some rudimentary speech recognition. It did much better than chance, and with no additional training, was able to get better over the course of the next two days. So while this sounds great for accelerating the growth of AI, the reason I included this in the most disturbing developments and referenced the phrase playing God is because these are absolutely biological human brains that we are using as tools. Now the obvious ethical question that arises here is are these organoids conscious? And the truth is, we can never really know. Humans have grappled with the question of consciousness since the dawn of time, and as technology advances, and as we deepen our understanding of the brain, we continue to hit a wall. A wall that reminds us that there is more to human life than our cells and synapses can ever divulge. What we must now consider is that we are absolutely dealing with technology that we do not fully understand. And we absolutely need to consider the ethics and philosophize on whether or not this is a route that we want to take as a species. Now I don't have the answer to this, and it's unlikely that any of us will, but I do look forward to seeing what you all have to say in the comments below. To wrap up today's video, I want to make you all aware of the third most disturbing development in AI over the last year. And that is the governments of the world's newfound fascination with artificially intelligent weapons. Earlier this year, I made a video describing how AI was already being used for warfare. And in said video, we highlighted that AI could already fly a fighter jet much better than a human could. And how companies like Palantir are actively deploying large language models to help streamline and coordinate military operations. But today, I want to highlight the following. This is an article from November talking about how the U.S. is planning to develop swarms of thousands of AI-controlled drones that can autonomously decide to kill humans. Yes, you heard that right. The deployment of AI-controlled drones that can autonomously decide whether to kill human targets is moving closer to reality. Also, side note, but this is making the campaign of Black Ops 2 sound oddly prophetic. Lethal autonomous weapons that can select targets using AI are being developed by countries including the US, China, and Israel. Several governments are lobbying the UN for a binding resolution restricting the use of AI killer drones, but the US is among a group of nations, which also includes Russia, Australia, and Israel, who are resisting any such move. In a speech in August, US Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks said technology like AI-controlled drone swarms would enable the U.S. to offset China's People's Liberation Army's numerical advantage in weapons and people. We'll counter the PLA's mass with mass of our own, but ours will be harder to plan for, harder to hit, and harder to beat. The sad reality of all of this is that whenever a new breakthrough technology like AI or any other novel invention is developed, one of the first things we as humans do is say, how can we use this to kill each other? The article goes on to say that they've already used some of this technology in Ukraine, but they don't specify as to what capacity. Now I am of the opinion that AI can be perhaps the single most beneficial technology on a societal scale that we have ever invented, and I truly believe that it ultimately will be that. 
The unfortunate reality though is that human nature dictates that no matter how virtuous the intentions, there are those that would use tech like this to do harm to others. Therefore, the responsibility falls on us to be good stewards of this gift of artificial intelligence and to use it to do as much good as we possibly can for humanity. But there you have it guys, those are the most disturbing developments in the world of AI that I could find for the year 2023. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel to help us grow and leaving a like to help get the video out to others. Let me know down in the comments what you thought was the craziest development in AI over the past year. And with all that, I will catch you in the next one.